Welcome to MS Kids Corner Fun and Games. We hope that by hearing what Jimmy has learned about menace, you are now able to better understand your parents' menace. To recap, in chapter one, we learned what exactly multiple sclerosis is and what is happening in your mom or dad's central nervous system. In chapter two, we learned about what your mom or dad living with multiple sclerosis is feeling, called symptoms, when Jimmy put himself in his mom's shoes. In chapter three, we tackled the tough questions that Jimmy's friends had for him about his mom's multiple sclerosis. And lastly, in chapter four, we saw Jimmy being an MS superhero for his mom and family, and we learned some ways we can use our powers to be MS superheroes ourselves. Now it is time for fun and games. First, let's play Where's Menace? In this game, we will show an image on the screen for 20 seconds, and you will have to search to find Menace in a world of icons. Try to find this menace. Were you able to find him? Here he is. Now try to find this menace. Good job, he's right here. Lastly, try to find this menace. Here he is, amazing work. Now let's play quiz time. What do you remember about MS after watching our channel? I will ask you either a multiple choice question or a true or false question, and you will have 10 seconds to pick the right answer. What part of the neuron is information passed down and also looks like the stem of a flower? Is the answer A, myelin, B, the axon, C, the stem, or D, menace? If you said B, the axon, you are right. The axon is the part of the neuron where information is passed down, and it also looks like the stem of a flower. What does menace feed on that makes Jimmy's mom sick? Is the answer A, bone, B, skin, C, myelin, or D, the heart? Good job! The correct answer is C. Myelin. Menace feeds on myelin in Jimmy's mom's central nervous system. What parts of the body make up the central nervous system? Is the answer A. The brain, B. The spinal cord, C. The arms and legs, D. The brain and the spinal cord, or E. All of the above? The answer is D, the brain and spinal cord. These are both part of the central nervous system where menace lives. Which of the following is not a symptom of MS? Is the answer A, numbness and tingling, B, tiredness, C, hair loss, or D, blurry vision?
great work. Hair loss is not a symptom of MS, but numbness and tingling, tiredness, and blurry vision are all symptoms. True or false, Jimmy can catch multiple sclerosis by giving his mom a hug. If you said false, you are correct. Jimmy can give his mom as many hugs as he wants and he will not catch MS because it is not contagious. Last question, which fact about MS superheroes is correct? A. MS superheroes sometimes work around the clock. B. MS superheroes are allowed to take a day off. C. Being an MS superhero takes a lot of hard work or D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. These are all facts about being an MS superhero. Next, let's play, what are your MS superhero powers? In Chapter 3, we saw Jimmy use many superpowers to shrink Menace and make his mom feel better. However, there are so many more superpowers that MS superheroes can use to shrink Menace. Can you think of any unique superpowers that you can use as an MS superhero? There is no right or wrong answer. Everyone's superpowers will be unique to them. Pause the video to come up with some ideas. Now that you are back, we will share some examples that we came up with. 1. Super quiet. When mom or dad is feeling extra tired because Menace is being extra bad, you can use your whispering and tiptoeing powers to not wake them up from their nap. 2. Super dance. If you love to dance, this could be a power for you. Parents love to watch you do what you love to do. So if your mom or dad are feeling down because of their MS, you can show them your newest dance move to cheer them up. 3. Super cook. Helping mom or dad in the kitchen with cooking is a big help. Next time you see your parent cooking in the kitchen, you can ask them if there's anything that you can help with. For our last activity, we want you to draw your own parent's menace. We all know what Jimmy's mom's menace looks like, but all menaces look different. So what do you m imagine your own parent's menace to look like? Feel free to send us your drawings. We would love to be able to showcase your art on our channel. If you are interested, get your mom or dad to email them to us at mskidscorner at gmail.com. Thanks for watching MS Kids Corner. We hope you had fun and learned lots.